Hey guys, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail and this is our chain mail tutorial channel. Hey guys, big hi, hello, welcome, how are you? Thanks for popping in and seeing me today. It's really great to see you. So today I've got a new weave tutorial for you. Now this is one I've been wanting to do for a little while. Um, it's a really sweet weave and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. So the weave we're going to do today, it's a Byzantine variant. You know I love my Byzantine. And this one is called Staggered Byzantine Halves. All right guys, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I've got some sample pieces made up here for you of the staggered Byzantine halves. So they'll be coming up here on the side of the screen. They'll also be listed for you down in the description section which you can find underneath this video. But to run through them with you, uh, this version over here, the bright aluminium one, um, this is our 14 gauge AWG which is 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. And the ring ID here is 730 seconds of an inch or 5.56 millimeters. Now I did this one in silver just to give you an idea of what it looks like in one color. Um, and all the others are done in uh, four colors. So they're all the same ring sizes, just different colors. So this one here is our 16 gauge version, 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. And the ring ID that was used here was 5.30 seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimetres. This one here is 18 gauge AWG, 1 millimetre diameter wire with a ring ID of 9 64ths of an inch or 3.57 millimetres. And the last one here is the 20 gauge version, 0.8 millimetre diameter wire, ring ID used here was 7 64ths of an inch or 2.78 millimetres. So I just want to point out um, this one here, the 16 gauge version, which is the version I will use to demonstrate with you today. It's a little bit um, tighter, more dense than the other ones. It has a sm slightly smaller aspect ratio. So this one here and this one here, our 14 and our 20 gauge version, has an aspect ratio of around 3.5. The 18 gauge one is slightly larger with an aspect ratio of 3.7, but the 16 gauge version has an aspect ratio of 3.4. Now I wouldn't want to go too much smaller than that, if smaller at all. I think that's a nice, dense, uh, comfortable size. Anything smaller than that and it starts to become really, really fiddly. The others you can see, um, the units are much more spaced, they're not quite as dense, so it gives you a slightly different look, but I still think they're quite effective um, regardless of whether it's the, the larger aspect ratio or the smaller one. But this is the ring size we'll be using today because this is the trickiest ring size. The smaller they are, the little bit trickier they are to, to hold your work. Uh, so I apologise in advance if my thumbs do get in the way a little bit. I do have to hold the rings into place. They don't magically do it themselves. But I will do my best to keep my thumbs and fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, the bracelet with the different colours in it, I've chosen to use four different colours. Uh, one of them being bright aluminium, or BA, and then the others I'm calling light, medium and dark. Now, they don't have to be graduating colours, I mean, that your colourway is totally up to you. But just for the purpose of this tutorial, it'll be BA, light, medium and dark when I'm referring to the different colours. Okay, so we're going to create the individual units, the individual Byzantine halves, um, and then we will join them together. So to do that, we want to start off by making a chain that is... 2BA, 2 dark, and then 2BA rings. So go ahead and make up that unit now, or that small chain, I should say, however it is that you like to put those together. I'm just popping four of the BA rings onto my uh, dark ring, and then I'm just going to go through and close those rings up. But of course, you can 
close your BA rings up in advance if that's the way you prefer to work. So just make up that chain. And then I'm going to grab a twist tie and I'm going to put it through one end of the BA. Now I'm not going to twist it because this is only a temporary short measure. If you're using larger rings or you are comfortable with Byzantine, you may not need to put this little extra handle in, but I'm going to pop it in for the purpose of this um, video. So as you would with Byzantine, you want to hold your work between your thumb and your finger and flip that end pair of rings so you've got one sitting on each side of your work. You then want to fold them all the way back and you want to separate out those top rings because what we're looking for is this space in here. Okay, and that, that space just there is where we're going to place our next rings. And in this case, they're going to be our medium rings. Okay, so open up a medium ring, feed it through that space. What you're doing there is picking up the rings that you folded back. So make sure you've picked up both of those rings. Close that ring and then you'll want to place a second ring through the same path. So again, open up another medium ring and feed it through that same path. Okay, and there's your half Byzantine, your first half Byzantine unit. So we need to make up several of these obviously to make the bracelet and to start you're going to need at least two of these. So go ahead and make up as many of those little units as you want. As I said you don't have to make them all up, you can make them as you go along. But I would suggest making, you know, absolute minimum two. You know, make it three or four of them so that you can do the next step Okay, so I'll just make up another half again, just for those that are fairly new to chainmail and didn't catch that the first time through. I would suggest if you are new to chainmail, perhaps checking out some of our um, basic beginner tutorials. I will leave a link up here for Byzantine if you want to go and check that out. But meanwhile, open up one of your dark rings, pop on four of your bright aluminium rings and then feed another dark ring through that same space. So we want to create a chain that is 2BA, so 2BA, 2 dark and 2BA again. Okay. I'm just closing those rings up. As I said, you can free close your BA rings if that's the way you like to work. Um, I prefer just to pop them on like this and then close them up as I go along. Okay, so I've got my six rings there. I'm going to take up my twist tie and just pop that on there quickly. Pinching my work between my thumb and my finger, I separate out that top pair of rings. So I've got one sitting on each side of my work. I then fold them all the way back and pinch them against the work separating out those top rings so that I can see this little space here. Okay, that space there, that's where we're going to place our next rings, which in this case are our medium colored rings. So we'll take those up and we're going to feed two of those through that space. Okay, so there's one and two. So you guys go ahead and make up a couple more of these units and I'll meet you back here to show you the next step. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made up four of our little half Byzantine units, and now we need to build the other side of this bracelet to join these together. So what we're going to do is take up two of these little units and then a bright aluminium ring. So open that ring up, and we wanna pop it through one medium ring on one unit and one medium colored ring on the other unit. Okay, just like that. Close it up and double that ring up. Okay, so we've got our two bright aluminium rings in place. 
The next ring we want to place is a light coloured ring. So we're going to feed that through the two bright aluminium rings that we just placed in our weave. Okay, so just straight through them. Close that up and double that ring. Okay, so we've got our light colored ring in there. And then what we want to do, we want to fold that light color ring back. Okay, so one on each side of the bright aluminium ring, like we did before. So this is where it becomes a little bit tricky because you can't really hold this all that well. But what we want to do is we want to be able to place a, another bright aluminium ring like we did at the beginning with our first halves, we need to separate out that top rings, come in and scoop up the rings that we folded back. Now, because of the angle, it is a little bit trickier and a little bit fiddlier to do. But if you make sure you've got your rings folded all the way down and then sort of just squish your weave into place, you can then come in with your bright aluminium ring and pick up those two light colored rings. Okay, so there's one and of course, as we have been the whole way along, we want to place a second bright aluminium ring through the same path, a little bit easier this time because we've already got one sitting in there. And there you can see we've built the other half of the bright aluminium ring on the other side there, okay? And we want to do that all the way down our bracelet. So I'll try that again. Take up a new half Byzantine unit that you've prepared before. Grab a bright aluminium ring. Open that up and go through one medium colored ring on each unit. Okay, so you join them together like that. Close that ring up and double it. Okay. Once you've got that ring doubled, take up a light colored ring, feed it through the pair of bright aluminium Okay, and then we want to fold that pair of rings back so they sit snug against our work. Okay, you see that, that they're folded back all the way back against our work. Then taking up another bright aluminium ring, we're going to come in, we're going to separate those rings on top and we're going to pick up those two rings that we folded back. So as I said, it's a little fiddly because you can't hold onto them as well as you can when you made the first half of the Byzantine units. Um, it's a little awkward. Just sort of squish it all in place and then go in and pick those rings up. So this one's being a little bit stubborn. Okay, there we go. So I find it helps if you can sort of see how I've got quite a firm grip on the on the weave there. So I'm squishing it all in place and that helps hold those light colored rings in place. And then I come in with the bright aluminium and scoop them up. All right, so once you've placed one ring, second ring should hopefully be a little bit easier for you. Okay. All right, and you just keep adding to your work until you get the length that you require. 
I'll just add one more now just because I've got the unit made up and it is a little tricky and a little difficult to see so hopefully a third repetition will help you guys out that are having trouble. So with a new Byzantine unit and a bright, open bright aluminium ring, go up and pick up a medium ring from your new unit and the medium ring on the piece you're working on. Double that bright aluminium ring up. Okay, so your work should look like this. We're then going to add a light coloured ring to the brown aluminium rings that we just added. So we want to place two of those. So there's one. And two. And then we're going to need a bright aluminium ring and we're going to fold those rings that we just added all the way back against our work, tuck them in place as best we can. Holding onto our work, we're going to come in, we're going to separate the bright aluminium rings there on top and we're going to come in with our open ring and scoop up the light rings that we folded back. Okay, close that up and double that up, the bright aluminium ring up. Okay. And then once you've reached the length that you require, you're going to see that we've got the beginning and the end looking the same. And if you look at this one here that I have finished, We've actually got the beginning and the end. One ends at the bottom and one has a top row as the end. So to do that, we just wanna build that top row in place. So what we wanna do is go to one end here and we're going to take up a bright aluminium ring and we're gonna feed that through the end medium ring, okay? So just through the medium ring and we're going to close, we're going to double that. So we've got two bright aluminium rings hanging off our last medium colour ring. We're then going to add another medium colour ring, okay, just one to our bright aluminium rings. Okay, and then we're going to add two of our light colored rings to the bright aluminium rings. Okay, so there's one. Oops making sure that the bright, the light coloured rings are next to each other. They nearly got separated by the medium ring there. We don't want that. We want our light coloured rings to sit next to each other. Okay, and then we're going to separate those rings, one on each side like we have been doing. We're going to open up another bright aluminium ring and we're gonna come in, separate the top pair of aluminium, bright aluminium rings, and we're going to scoop up just the light colored rings, okay? Just like that. And of course we're going to double that up. Okay. And then that gives you one end with a half Byzantine unit on top and the other end with the half Byzantine unit on the bottom. And then to, to finish them off, I just put a pair of the bright aluminium rings through the last two colored rings. So in this case, it's the light and the medium. And on the other end, it was the medium and the dark. 
And then to that, I then added small clasp attachment rings. It does make for a large clasp attachment point. Um, so you need to take that into consideration as you're making your bracelet. You can see that that's quite a wide clasp attachment point. But there you go, guys. That's it. That's how you make your staggered Byzantine halves weave. All right, my lovelies, well, that's it. That's the video tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed the weave um, as much as I do. I think it makes a really nice eye-catching bracelet um, and you got value out of this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. Share the video if you like. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, you might want to consider doing that for us. That would really help us out and be awesome. Uh, check out some of the videos that we have here if you... Um, want to do some more projects with us and last but not least guys don't forget to give our shop link up here in the corner a little bit of love and attention that's where we sell all the bits and bobs and thingamajigs you're going to need to make up this weave and the others that we showcase all right guys thanks once again for popping in and seeing me i hope you are all keeping very safe and well and that we will catch up with you again sometime soon okay, bye